Good evening. Good evening. Happy Sabbath. I bring you greetings from His Coming Broadcasting Network, and we're operating from Iloilo, but broadcasting um, with a satellite footprint. And I'm uh, Boise Hamadre, and I'm going to give you a short presentation of what HEBM does and an invitation to also participate in what we are doing with uh, media work. So, I'm going to start out with a very short um, uh, explanation of how the media ministry has evolved since uh, I know you're familiar with the spirit of prophecy. We can't find any media work in the spirit of prophecy, so um, this is how we pieced it together and uh, this is one way of we feel that we can reach a lot of people and with a uh, few people working in uh, this particular ministry. So, when the Spirit of Prophecy was written, I'm sure you are familiar when it was made between the 1880s and the 1900s, there are issues like, was there electricity? Was there radio, or was there telephone, was there any television, or was there, was anybody watching any videos, or was there internet, and today mobile phones, or satellites and cable TV. So publishing Canada's ministry which refers to the printing of written material is now considered as media ministry. So the publishing or the media work has not diminished but has rather expanded with the population and with technology. So I have some quotes from the Spirit of Prophecy like this one comes from Evangelism that we must take every justifiable means of bringing the light before the people, let the press or the media be utilized and that every advertising agency be employed that will call attention to the work, they should not be regarded as non-essential. So I really appreciate what ISS has um, come to present tonight, which is, or this week rather, which is Mission's Emphasis Week. So I am sure you are very familiar with in this age of media. See, media is simply um, multiplying yourself, or media is rather a tool that is used to store or deliver information or data or media can be persons or devices and methods that communicate. So you can multiply like speakers, you can have a lot of speakers, uh, I mean the same speaker in a lot of venues in a single, at a single time. So I think I should have changed the font of this, the color of this font, but I'll try to read it. So, His Coming Broadcasting Network, or shortly known as HCBN, is a ministry that uses media to address those who belong to the higher ranks of society and those who are to be sought out with tender affection and brotherly regard. Men in business life, in high positions of trust, men with large inventive faculties and scientific insight, men of genius, teachers of the gospel whose minds have not been called to the special truths for this time, they should be the first to hear the call. To them, the invitation must be given. This is Christ's object lessons. So I'm sure this is a big implication now since we have gotten into the media and the age of technology. So, HBN is a ministry that uses media to address those in areas where Bibles and Bible workers are not allowed to enter. Uh, addresses the unreachable in the urban centers, like big uh, condominiums. I don't think we can even get inside their doorsteps. So media can get through them through the TV or radio and those bound by technology and of course those who exist in 
this world through their devices. So some people lock themselves in through their devices. So a ministry that uses media to address the world's rapid population growth of 10%. So if we have like 7 billion people, that means each member of the church has to reach 700 people each year to catch up with the population. So it's a tough, mind-boggling job in a very short period of time that we have to work. And this kind of work is not only uh, totally possible only through the media. It has to have involvement of all the church members. So remember that Christ risked everything for our redemption. Heaven itself is in peril. At the foot of the cross, remembering that for one sinner, Christ would have laid down his life, you may estimate the value of the soul. So, this is what HEBN is trying to do, is trying to create awareness to people that, uh, of Bible prophecies that the Adventist Church has been studying, and these are the Bible prophecies, and it shows us we are living in the last days, we can look all at all the signs of the end. They are fast being fulfilled. We study the Bible prophecies, and we know end time prophecy is really we're at the end of almost at the end of the time. And of course, current issues that we have to keep abreast with, knowing what is happening with the world and how prophecies are being fulfilled in a very short time. So most of the Seventh Adventist churches lack availability of uh, media resources. So we have this available and we'd like to share them with each church. Or the proper use of media technology, we do some, some uh, outreach to go to some churches where they need help with audio systems, um, uh, the PowerPoints, and anything that we can help them with in the media technology. And of course, like I said, speakers, we can help bring speakers, if not, if not in person, at least the message of a speaker can be brought to each church. But, of course, HEBN is not, will not, never be complete and can never complete the task of spreading the word because we need people who will do the final personal evangelism for people who have been open by the seats of, from the media. So we need information drives, we need meeting campaigns, we need local mission stories, we need, of course, funds. And one of the greatest call for all the church members is to become a volunteer, not only in the media, but also for other uh, ministries as well. There is going to be a great harvest, so it is only possible with a lot of volunteers. So we have, normally we ask people, what is your ministry and how do you do it? And I'm sure in some little way, HEBN can be able to help your ministry. So here is a short video. I, I hope you can turn up the volume of showing what HEBN uh, does. Youth Plus. 
And this is one of the verses that inspire us, or at the same time would like to invite everyone is Isaiah 6, 8, which I'm sure you are familiar. And I read, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, am I? Send me. So this is an invitation to join God's special forces. Be our partners and volunteers in hastening the soon coming of Jesus. So thank you very much for this opportunity.